Hello, y'all. This is a lot sooner than I thought we would be talking again. I can't, I, I'm like shaking. Can y'all hear the jitter or the shakiness in my voice? I was just sitting right here in my bed. Josh was not playing tonight. He just slowly progressing or so we thought back from his injury the last two weeks. Um, but I am getting so many phone calls and I'm seeing all over Twitter that we just got traded for the Yankees. <laughs> From the Yankees to the Texas Rangers. And he's literally in the middle of the game. He, have, he has no idea. I don't even know this is official yet. But I texted his agent. And they're hearing that he might be in this trade that they're talking about with the Rangers. So I am. I just got dressed so fast. And I'm going to head to the field so I can be there for him after the game is over. In case this is actually real. <laughs> I don't know whether to be excited, happy. Thank God I didn't really unpack. I just, I'm feeling so many emotions right now, but I'm gonna head to the field and hopefully we'll update y'all later if this is actually happening or not. I ran to the game and somehow Josh found me in the stadium and turned around and grabbed his friend that apparently is getting traded with him and they both cheered. So he definitely is happy about it. I just have no idea when it's gonna be finalized, if it is going to be finalized. I literally know nothing besides the fact that it is a major rumor right now and that all of my friends are finding out it is all over Twitter. I'm getting a million messages and calls. People are DMing me on Instagram. Did your husband just get traded? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm assuming you've heard. <laughs> Love you. You think it's official? Yeah. I, it is? I mean, it's official if you Number think six. it is. <laughs> I still haven't seen anything yet. Oh my god, it's all over Twitter. <laughs> we'll find out. So? It's official. <laughs> I'm a Texas Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird! <laughs> I don't know how to feel. <laughs> love you. Love you, love you. Love you, love you. <laughs> so what are we doing? Leaving tomorrow? I have no clue. I haven't heard anything. <laughs> I just got called though and said I got officially traded. So who called you? The guy from the Yankees told me they were trading me, and so. And you don't know what level you? No, I have no clue. But hopefully we'll find oh out soon. My God. I don't really know how to feel. Right now. <laughs> I'm like well, you happy. look happy. I'm like happy, sad. Why sad? Confused. I don't know. It's just like. Mixed with emotions, you know. The but, New York yeah, but with the Rangers now, so. What do we do with all the Yankee gear? I don't know. <laughs> do you get to keep all of that? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I want that. The Rangers just called him. I'm assuming he's about to tell us where we're going. Lateral move or move up? Lateral move or move up? Move up, move up, move up. But lateral will be fine. Where'd he go? So, do they tell you? Yeah, the Rangers just called me. And said what? Uh, I don't know the details. You just congratulate me and everything. So. so we don't know where we're going yet? Oh, Hickory, North Carolina. Oh, really? Double yeah. A. High A. But he says maybe um, in like a couple weeks, double A. So. Oh. We'll see. That's only 10 hours. Oh, okay. good. All right. Good morning, y'all. Um, crazy night. I think I probably slept about two hours just kind of answering texts and calls and talking to my family and just checking everything. Uh, it's about 9 a.m. here um, and me and Claire are heading to Hickory, North Carolina today and a couple hours after we pack um, it's it's the high A team for the for the Texas Rangers and uh, just crazy. Uh, yesterday with the Yankees now with the Rangers this lifestyle is just nuts but um, just looking forward to it and hoping for the best and uh gonna take you guys along with us just to show you how crazy this life really is and see if Claire's up. Good morning Dallas Housewives. <laughs> Good morning. How we feeling? How we feeling? Did that really happen? <laughs> How'd you sleep? I actually slept really good. I slept terrible. You didn't sleep? No. You really didn't sleep? Not good. Uh, well, you seem excited. I am. I'm ready to go. I told him we're going to Hickory, so. Ten hour car ride. Just the beginning. We're packing up. 
putting on my sunscreen. Yeah. This is the fastest I've ever packed up <laughs> in my life. I know. You're doing pretty good. Thank you. And here's the, just our room. We still got all the kitchen stuff too, huh? Well, I feel like I know. Where I know to put things. You know what yeah, I mean? it has gotten a lot easier. So I don't have to like figure out like how to configure it. Like I know exactly where everything goes. <laughs> yeah, and you have a lot of stuff in your car too. Yeah, so. I didn't, we didn't bring a lot in. Thankfully, we didn't really unpack. Um, Exciting. You're like so excited now. <laughs> I know. Last I'm night. ready to go. I feel like last night in all the clips, you were kind of like, yeah. Oh I my was God. shocked. I You're like, I'm excited. Feel. I was like, okay, this is where. <laughs> Feels good now, though. We are all packed up, and every time we have to pack up, I'm always like, okay, it's not that much stuff. But somehow, this looks like an insane amount of things. Can't forget to brush your teeth. <laughs> like, I had to get the bellhop and everything. Don't know what we're going to do with these bags. But, like, Jesus. This is all of our refrigerated stuff because I'm. Mean, so I'm not gonna throw them away. We need to get like a little smaller ice chest that we can travel with. But this is like one of like those hot and cold bags. But I mean, well, it's all of like our dry pantry stuff, our air fryer and our espresso machine. And we are just about to get on the road. New chapter. This is a nightmare. This is the worst part. Gosh. I literally thought we didn't have that much stuff. We have too much. We definitely need ship an entire suitcase home with like stuff that we don't use anymore. Yeah, I agree. Get, back to. get to packing, lady. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Texas Ranger! <laughs> we are literally leaving Hudson Valley, New York. The New York Yankees organization and heading to Hickory, North Carolina to be a Texas freaking ranger. <laughs> 10 hours away. Such a small world. We're literally at a rest stop, taking a break, and we just ran into Texas Rangers fans, and now big boy is signing a ball over there. <laughs> Their plate says it and all. So cool. <laughs> I have no idea where we are at. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but it's so pretty. It's looking more like North Carolina. I with, think. The, with all the hills and mountains. <laughs> I mean, is it mountainy? I don't even know. <laughs> we're in the car. The we're getting a little bit closer. We still have like saying that I was traded. It's uh, six and a half hours. Cool. It's kind of wild. <laughs> but I'm really just reading really my it, book. If you, you know, want to know what we're doing on the way there. Well, he had no clue who was included yet. Radio show. And so, what do I do? I guess all the guys in the book. But yeah, this is some of the things that we're doing. Ride to North Carolina. Okay, so I think now is about the time that we need to explain everything because the amount of DMs that I have gotten on people being so confused and just not understanding how trades were, just anything, even though I don't really know how the things work. Um, but yeah. <laughs> we're still trying to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, so why don't you take the ropes on this one? Yeah, so for for some of y'all wondering, I'm sure y'all wondering if, if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, it's good and bad. It's kind of how you want to take it. Take it how you want it. Uh, so for me to get traded to the Rangers for a guy who's in the big leagues, it's a pretty cool opportunity. Um, it shows that the Rangers like me and like what I do and like how I play and everything. And the Yankees were thinking thinking separate things and they wanted to get the, the guy who's in the big leagues. And so the guy I was traded for, it was me. Uh, and three other guys on the Yankees got traded for uh, a guy named Joey Gallo. And so the Yankees got Gallo, and now we're all four headed to the Rangers. And, and, and Gallo is a big leaguer. Yeah, Joey Gallo is a big leaguer, and I think another pitcher as well who is a big leaguer. So two big leaguers. And so it's it's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely crazy and like bittersweet, but at the same time, it's it's well, just a new opportunity because you left the Yankees organization and yeah. like a whole team and all the guys and just. But now I get to go somewhere where they really believe in me and, and it makes you feel good. And so it's it's a good thing in my opinion and, and I'm really excited. But just the whole process of it, like of me finding out I got traded was just nuts. So like before the game yesterday, um, one guy who was involved in the trade 
got like scratched from the starting lineup and so like all the guys in the locker room were like oh man he's gonna get traded like and even myself i was like dang but he like, didn't know yet though yeah. like no one was telling him that that's what was going on and the guy that i thought was gonna get traded was like one of my best friends on the team and i was like dang that's sad like you're gonna miss him he's gonna get traded and so the whole game we're thinking he's gone you know and then in the sixth inning my uh <laughs> one of my friends comes up to him and he looks at me and he, he literally does this he goes and i was like what and he goes and i was like me he was like yeah and i was like what <laughs> and so like from that moment on i was like oh my god this is like really happening but i still didn't believe it because i hadn't like been told yet or anything and so after the game as you guys saw earlier in the video well, i filmed me yeah after your dad so his dad called me and said have you checked twitter the second he said twitter i just knew <laughs> i just knew that that's what it meant um, but so, y'all saw all Yeah, that. and so after the game, like, I go up to Clara, give her a hug. I was real, I was more nervous to see how she was going to take it, like, for me. I feel like I handle stuff pretty okay, and she's more, more of the emotional side, but she was excited. And I was super excited last night when we found out, like, it's literally been less than 24 hours. And I don't know, I was just excited because I knew it was, like, being traded for a big leaguer, and he was just kind of, like, explaining all, like, the trade details and, like, how that's really good and stuff like that. So I was just excited in, like, Texas. It's just like such a good spot. So. After the game, I go in, into the locker room and still like, haven't heard a fish or anything. And I get back in, I get a call from the Yankees. They're saying, hey, uh, I'm sure you've heard by now, but we're making it official and we're trading you to the uh, Texas Rangers. And so just like that, once that happened, I was like, all right, like, let's go, you know, like ready yeah. for this new journey, new opportunity and uh, just crazy but i mean we're super excited uh it's closer to home that's one thing yes i think is. that we really like then the rangers called him while we were still at the field because he was packing everything up in his locker because we had to take it home and they are sending us to the same level that we are on in the on the yankees team high a which is in hickory north carolina which is where we're heading now and he said hopefully we'll be here for a few weeks or so you can like what get your feet wet like get used yeah, to everything nothing's promised but yeah like, no nothing promised but, but like, hopefully um hopefully i'll continue to play well and and get uh get promoted to frisco texas that's where their double a affiliate is okay so. yeah so double a is in which is the next level up is in frisco texas which is 30 minutes from dallas and 45 minutes from fort worth three and a half hours from houston just if y'all want to know because that's where my sister lives <laughs> In six hours from home. <laughs> We've already done the calculations. <laughs> and then the triple A team is in Austin, Texas, and the big league team is in Arlington, Texas. I have gotten also lots of DMs that I'm going to we're gonna love Dallas. It's gonna be amazing. So I actually went to TCU my freshman year. So I know what it's like. All of my friends from freshman year are still there. They are freaking out. I am freaking out. It'll definitely be a little home away from home. I also saw another question. Um, is this our permanent settled place? No, he can get traded again. Yeah, which is the crazy part so. of this. But overall, we're super excited um, just to kind of get to do this together and to have her with me is really, really special. And yeah. just ready to get started. This whole past year has been nothing but literally putting me up. Everything happened for a reason for us. And I don't understand it. I mean, it's definitely like God shining down on us, but it is just crazy like thank gosh that he put those doubts in me for dental school <laughs> so that i could be with him through this whole entire journey like i just i'd be heartbroken if i was in school right now and he was doing this by himself so we are super super thankful that we are doing this together and we made it it is <laughs> 1 26 a.m because of clear it was about a 13 hour day instead of a nine and a half ten hour day but it was we necessary it, so. detour that's all i'm going to say about it but yeah we finally made it it was a long drive hickory north carolina i drove most of the way <laughs> yeah right <laughs> okay moment of truth let's see how this one is oh my god it smells like smoke it literally smells like straight smoke Ew, oh, turn the lights on. I'm scared. It smells like a pack of cigarettes. Ooh. 
I mean, besides the smell, it's not bad. Microwave, refrigerator. It really smells like cigarettes. Coffee. Here we are. Okay. Immediately. Got on the phone. You have a king bed? To get a new room. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, heck to the year. All right, round two. And good morning. Today is my first game as a ranger. Our first game as a ranger. <laughs> and Claire. That was a passive aggressive this, the R. Is eating boiled eggs in bed with sriracha. Um, show them the air fryer. <laughs> yeah, we got our whole kitchen set up right here. It's if super you, nice. If you watched our last video, which you should, um, you will understand that because it is so much better than not having one. But this is part of the minor league life, eating breakfast in your hotel room. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's nothing better than not having to eat out for every single meal. It seems nice at first, but there's just something about it. And you get breakfast in bed. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> so we're all packed up and ready to go to the new team. Today uh, is the first game and we're about to head there right now. If Claire would put her new shoes on within 30 seconds. Aren't they cute? I have to wear them. Let's see them. <laughs> nice. Obsessed. But yeah, how are you feeling? Kind of nervous. First day on the new job. Nervous but excited. And it's gonna go to great. It. I know. And so I'm sure a lot of you guys have a lot of questions and so on our next vlog, after you guys subscribe down low and watch um, this one yeah and watch that we'll, we'll answer all you guys questions uh in another one but thanks for watching uh and this is just kind of the beginning of of a new journey for us and we're excited so yay mm -hmm.